In the latest version of our Keymouse software, version 2.0, we have redone the way it works with the multimedia keys and the application keys. We were having some compatibility issues in uh, some computers, so we've got new key codes for how those operate, and that will also require a firmware update to make them work properly. So you'll see also down at the bottom of the list here under old firmware, these are the key codes that, uh, that are not going to work after you update to the latest version. So you can see in my custom layout here, this has the old codes on it. So I'm going to need to click on like this volume up and I'll just do a search for volume up. So that just remaps it from the old code to the new code. And I'll click on this one and do volume down. And that sets those to the new codes. We didn't want to do that automatically for you because it would break it on your computer if you did not do the update to the latest firmware. So pretty much you'll just need to do all of these steps at the same time and everything should work smoothly for you. Uh, if you're using our preset layouts, we have automatically updated the, the preset layouts when you update the software. So you won't have to do that step uh, unless you're using custom layouts here, which most people are. So uh, just make sure any of uh, the multimedia keys, which is, you know, your play, pause, volume controls, and the applications, calculator, mail, my computer and web browser, you'll have to remap those on your custom layouts. Um, go to devices and go to firmware update and you'll want to update to version 71. Just make sure your uh, devices are checked here and click start. That will run through the update on the Bluetooth chip. So the primary firmware update that we do here is the Bluetooth chip because that's where we store the key layouts. Even though Keymouse can switch between uh, Bluetooth and USB automatically, we store the data on the Bluetooth chip because when you unplug the USB, we, sh we power that down just to save on power so that uh, you'll still have access to all your layouts. So once you do that, then you're going to want to come back into this screen and go to advanced and click update 8051 chip, which is the USB chip. Now this step has to be done on a Windows computer for this updating this uh, 8051 chip. We've tried it on Mac and Linux and we have not been able to get it to, to do it properly without having it freeze up on us. We're still working through why, uh, but basically when you do this one, the chip has to boot into uh, like a different mode, bootloader mode, and uh, some, somehow we're having some issues with Linux and Mac recognizing and downloading correctly to it. Um, we'll resolve that at some point, but for now, this will have to be done on Windows. So select version 18 and click start. And that will uh, go through a process of updating the USB chip. So after you've updated both this version to 71 and this version to 18, then the new media codes will be in effect. And the, let's go to this old firmware, these codes will not. And you'll know if you're using the old codes, it'll show a line through it on your key layouts. So after you've switched over, then um, we expect that these should give us a lot more flexibility and compatibility moving forward. We don't expect this to be uh, a regular thing. We just, we just wanted to make sure we got the firmware updated to a, a better standard. So hopefully this helps you in upgrading to version 2.0 of the software. And just let us know if you have any issues getting updated. Thanks.